Black Friday shopping now, crowded stores, long lines, and of course, traffic comes to mind. WYF News Force Allison Powell headed to Woodruff Road to see how officials are preparing to handle the holiday. If you plan on shopping this Black Friday, you probably already know. If you want to avoid traffic, you should steer clear of Woodruff Road. It's terrible. It's terrible. It's terrible. And I'm just here coming here to work. It's going to be horrible. It's going to be terrible. Yeah. Yeah. I don't terrible. even want to come out the house. But this year, Greenville police are working to alleviate some of these problems. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, we'll have several officers out on Woodruff Road and Haywood Road. And what the officers will be doing is monitoring the intersections with their traffic lights. And they will actually have the traffic boxes open and trying to get all the lights on green and red at the same time. Greenville PD has also placed holiday signs up on Woodruff and Haywood Road, warning drivers not to block the intersections. Officers are setting up these barricades to keep people from turning left. And even though they're trying to ease the holiday traffic, they say the response hasn't been positive. They're going to actually clutter it if you think about it because. You know, now it's going to be jammed and stuff. You might not be able to turn here. You might not be able to turn somewhere else. You know, it's just going to it's going to cause some problems for the store, of course. But you know, it's going to be trouble all all the way down Woodruff Road. So it's going to be 97 wrecks out here on Black Friday. Officer Bragg hopes these changes can prevent wrecks and ease holiday travel, even if it's just a little. Allison Powell, WYFF News 4 in Greenville. I'm I'm buying online to avoid. <laughs> Would your road traffic? <laughs> All right, officers suggest to avoid traffic altogether. Avoid it coming to Woodruff Road between the hours of 9 and 7 because that's when we're told most accidents happen. If you need to be in the area, they suggest using alternate roads like Garlington, Carolina Point Parkway, and Roper Mountain Road.